Smash drunk. Oh no, I have to talk about Terminator 2 Judgment Day for Super Nintendo? Ugh, okay, buck up, here we go. There are different flavors of bad games. The one I looked at last week, Frantic Flea, is the annoying kind of bad, where the controls and the platforming make you feel like Walter White under his house laughing maniacally because you can't believe how bad it is. But this week, it's Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and this is the crushing disappointment kind of bad. I talked about this one a long while back as part of the video that goes over every Super Nintendo game based on an action movie, and I've been afraid to go back to it ever since. Like many of you, I love Terminator 2. It's one of my four or five favorite movies ever, and to the movie's everlasting credit, the makeup and the special effects still hold up remarkably well even today, and you don't need me to tell you any of this, it's just an awesome movie. Now, to give you some history on my part, I did not own an NES, but I was at least kinda sorta familiar with the fact that movie-licensed games always kinda sucked. I mean, there was a reason when my childhood friend Dan rented games, he got stuff like Mega Man 3 and Super C, instead of crap like Back to the Future. But by the time the Super Nintendo rolled around, I was at least hopeful that movie-licensed games would be at least a little better. After all, it was a Super Nintendo. Everything is supposed to be better than the NES, right? But that's before I played Terminator 2 Judgment Day, developed in 1993 by Bit Studios and published by LJN. Yes, that LJN. First of all, just look at this. This is a Terminator game? After watching the biggest action blockbuster movie of the year, this is the video game it gets? Bit Studios also made Last Action Hero for Super Nintendo, and apparently they had trouble capturing Arnold Schwarzenegger's likeness, because in that game he looks like Shane McMahon, although video game Arnold has much better punches. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! Here comes the money! And in Terminator 2, Arnold looks like Hank Hill. Boy, I tell you what, you gotta come with me if you wanna live. The graphics in this game are just so friggin' basic. This game could be anything. It's a huge letdown after how great the movie looked. I mean, this isn't even great value Terminator. This is gas station Terminator. You get one health meter and zero continues to get through eight levels with no battery saver password. And to the game's credit, it does follow the movie pretty closely. You start out at the bar, you go looking for John Connor at the mall, you go to the mental hospital to get Sarah, and the game concludes at the steel mill. It's just, the gameplay is so bad. The T-800 is ridiculously slow, and you've got John and Sarah following you around, so you have to make sure they keep up, and believe it or not, this is how the Terminator jumps. How is this normal? Is this a motion capture from someone that actually worked on the game? Did they think this is how jumps looked? The T-800 is apparently just your 52-year-old uncle who can't get his skinny jeans off. But what makes this really hilarious is how the gameplay is set to this music. It's such a contrast, I can't help but laugh. Let's replace the music with something from Bubsy and see how it looks. That just makes the game look like a wacky platformer where you're a naked dude looking for his clothes. The point is, the visuals of this game look incredibly cheap, and the over-serious, hard-driving music makes the game look even worse, because they don't go together at all. Like, ten seconds into this game, and you're already like, this is just bad, it's just terrible. So what you're supposed to do in this game is complete objectives, like in the first level you find John Connor's address, as well as these things called future objects. Uh, why exactly is this important, and how is it related to the movie? Who cares? It's kind of amazing to me how badly this game is screwed up. Seriously, all you need to do is make a weapon-based beat-em-up, where you're the Terminator and just crushing people left and right like you see in games like Batman Returns or Final Fight. But no, instead it's a mission-based game with confusing objectives, terrible graphics, god-awful hit detection, and even worse controls, and boring, monotonous gameplay. Oh, but it gets even worse because you have to drive Arnold around from place to place, and the driving controls are laughably bad. You get one button to accelerate and one button to turn. Why wouldn't you just use the D-pad? You can't even change it in the options either, it's just not available. How stupid is that? It's such a miserable experience, and I would not blame you if you just quit this game right here. It's, it's just that bad. Go play T2 the arcade game instead. So yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time with this piece of crap. Terminator 2 Judgment Day on the SNES is one of the worst games I've ever played, and it has close to zero redeeming value, so this is a game you're gonna want to avoid any way you can! Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.